Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. We are making, for the first time ever, breakfast tacos. Mario's probably more excited than me. I'm not that excited. I mean, you weren't playing it so cool when the camera was <laughs> off. He was like, oh my god, tacos! It's a Sunday, so we can take a little bit longer with cooking. Oh my god, I thought I picked parsley, but I picked coriander. Take it out. Take it out. I don't know why you bought mango. I just fancied it. Should we just try it? Are you doing homemade tortilla wraps? Oh, that's homemade. I packaged that myself this morning. Are you hungry? Am I hungry? Yeah, give me a scale. Scale of hunger. Well, out of what? Out of ten. Ten. Okay, so that was my breakfast. Um, I'm not even gonna try and be humble about it. It was amazing. It was good. Man. It was so good. It was real good. In fact, it was so good, I think Mario's willing. It, just coming through now, hot news. He's gonna do the washing up all week. It was not that good. <laughs> I wanted to film a full week of eating because you guys know I eat intuitively. That means that I just listen to my hunger signals and it can really vary depending on how well I slept, how stressed I am, how active I am that day, um, whether I'm coming onto my period. So many, so many factors and it always varies and I can't always capture it in one day. So I thought I would show you guys how I'm eating over a week so you guys can see how varied it can be day to day. And it works really well for me because I'm just trying to maintain, I'm not trying to build muscle, I'm not trying to lose fat. Because for those things it can help to have a slightly more mechanical approach to eating. But yeah, here I just feel very relaxed, very free. I'll put the recipes in the description box as well. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. We did not figure out what to do with the mango. So I was just eating it. It takes me four seconds to get ready. It takes Natasha Stop. like five minutes. Stop. So I'm always waiting. That's not fair. My life is just one long wait. Hello, beautiful. I don't hurt my back. You don't feel it? No, I don't feel it. So it's good to still feel challenged. I'm really grateful for that. I'm just holding the weight so it doesn't really look like much, but that's what my osteopath was telling me to do so that I could get confidence back in my back because I don't have any confidence whatsoever at the moment and also just work on my proprioception which is why I was closing my eyes. <laughs> I'm actually going to let Mario do the courgettes because this is his special recipe. Crutch cooking with Mario. Courgette me. Quick. <laughs> faster. Courgette me faster. I'm not going to say it. I smell burn. I think we just need to go a bit hotter. Right. Your honey. Yeah, so basically you just wait till the end and then you add honey. I mean, that's, that's my entire recipe basically. I always like it when he's clean shaven. You do it for the video. <laughs> I'm not the only one that shaves for the videos. I get rid of this stash as well. Normally we're just fully bearded. Both of us. <laughs> Both of us. Just, it's gonna be food porn. Ooh. Oh no, Ooh, that that's not food good. porn, that's food burn. Food <laughs> porn, food porn. Golden. A little bit. Right, if you're making a food porn claim, you have to be right. Okay, you ready, ready? You can't just keep crying wolf. 
Food porn, ready? How yes. good does that one look? There's so much heat. Oh my god, see you. Food porn. Oh. Food porn. Yeah, 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 go on. Ow. You can't take the heat, man. Don't overdo that it. Looks that looks good. That does a really good. That looks really good. Show that. how good that looks. No, but I'm trying to get this. <laughs> show how good it looks. Okay, real quick. Show how good all it right, looks. Right. Does that look good or does that look good? The secret weapon. Right, I'm not gonna lie, that looks like. We all know what that looks like. <laughs> So one of my cousins just had a baby the other day and I thought it would be nice if me and Mario go pick out some baby clothes for her. Baby's clothes are the cutest! Oh my <gasps> god! Follow me! It's just the fact that it's people clothes but small. Mario's looking at the toys. What have you found? She can enjoy the summer. What have you seen? They're little socks. What the hell? Oh, yeah, We've just found Mario. <laughs> Mario looks like a cheese sandwich. Mm. Mario looks like a cheese sandwich. 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 Mario looks like a so I know I say this every time, but the sunset is looking really beautiful tonight. Mario's excuse for not making dinner at the moment is, oh. If I stand too long. If I stand goes. too long. Here's a solution, right? Here's the solution. There's this. You sit on it and you, you can Yeah, but my leg right needs here. to be elevated. <laughs> Breathe it in, hun, breathe it in. Oh. There's always cause, even on a Sunday night. Especially on a Sunday Especially night. Especially on a Sunday night. So I'm just going to finish off the day with some Greek yogurt and some raspberries. Finished. Okay, so I didn't really have that much time this morning. Um, it's 20 to 8 and I've got a call at 8, so I'm just going to have something really simple. I'm going to have some cereal. I kind of switch between Weetabix or Crunchy Nut. Today I fancy some Crunchy Nut because it just tastes really good. I'm really excited because I found these as like a plant alternative steak to go with the potato salad. You should be happy with me, Mario, because I did 
honey mustard dressing for this salad. Mm. this. I want to try it. What is it? Uh, I think it's like seitan. It's really good. Yeah, I'm well, happy with that. Good choice, Baba. I'm happy with it. Guess what time of the month it is. The wrong time. You gonna be okay? I think I might survive. <laughs> it's going away now though, isn't it? <laughs> it's only been four hours of cramps. <laughs> Morning. Morning. If you go through it, then I gotta go through it too with you. Team effort. Team effort. Part about making too much is you have leftovers so when we have no time it's just the easiest thing to just eat the leftovers and then just add like something else that takes no time at this point i'm just hoping that more is more you're just trying to save this with garnish, but <laughs> it's not your best looking dish, I'm not going to lie. I know, but I'm just like not really that hungry, but I know that I should eat something. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm like, I'm trying to make it somewhat presentable. You're trying to make it exciting. <laughs> Honestly, like I just haven't been hungry all day, but I just know that I need to eat something. So I'm trying to make it look nice. I'm not like super hungry, but I don't want to underfuel myself either. It will catch up with me down the line. Like I've had these days where I don't feel like eating that much and then in three days time I have zero energy. So I want to have energy in three days time. So fish cakes it is. Yama. <laughs> Yeah, uh, four is way too many, so I'm just gonna have these three. I'm happy with that, and then Mario can finish off my. Tag me in. Yeah, I'm tagging you in. Yeah, I'm passing wow. you. I'm passing you the baton. Yeah, relay. <laughs> relay. I'm just going for a little bike ride. Usually I would do this with Mario because it's just really nice to get outside, and it's been really, really nice weather. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go for a bike ride. The weather's so nice. Usually when my back's okay, me and Mario with the Boris bikes go on the mountain bike trails because um, there's some like off, off roading here and it's really fun but it's quite bumpy so I don't want to risk it with my back. And every time I like go and do something I'm like no, you need to be patient, <laughs> you need to like take care of yourself and like remember that I have a back injury because sometimes when you don't feel it, it doesn't mean that the injury is gone. It just means it's in like that healing process, but it can still like very much go back into like a bad or worse state. So yeah, I just have to keep reminding myself not to do stupid shit. I really want to go in the water. It looks like a dream. I just spent all day indoors working so it always feels really good to be outside because otherwise I swear I like get this itchy feeling where it's like I just need to be outside. That 
tastes so good, but it's a little bit crumbly because I just made it and you're actually supposed to put it in the fridge for an hour, but I ain't got time for that. I wanna have breakfast now. So the ones tomorrow and after that will be fine. Um, this one's a bit crumbly, but it still tastes so good. trying to do like low impact stuff, low impact cardio for my back. <sighs> Usually I hate doing any kind of static training, you know, like I love being outside, but I feel really determined to like keep my cardiovascular fitness where it was and I want to work on getting myself better so that's actually what machines are amazing for machines are actually designed for people who are injured so <laughs> they're going to become my favorite training equipment for the next couple of months I think Okay, Mario, bless. You had to make it all the way down three flights of stairs with your crutches. So cute, I love him all. So I've got a video call, uh, like a Zoom call for two hours at two. It's now 1.59. Um, I've dropped Mario off because he's being really slow with his little crutch, bless him. But this is gonna be like my little snack it's just like prawns and rice and some edamame beans just to keep me through for like the two hours because I haven't had lunch. So yeah, that's what I'm going to have. And then I'll have some lunch like later on. Straight from one meeting to another, although I need to shower to be honest. I stink. I am weak. It's I all, stink. <laughs> it's alright when you're on video call but when you've got to meet them in person. I'm having a tortilla bowl. I usually get like tomato, rice, veg, chicken, tomato salsa, red onions, guacamole, and a little bit of cheese as well. Have I got food stuck in my teeth? Show us. No. Are you getting changed? I'm adjusting my bandage. I'm not getting changed. I have to put my bandage. It's not what I look like. I'm about to go on a podcast, it's with Rini McGregor, so she'll make me feel more comfortable, but I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm still nervous, it's like an hour long interview. Why do I have a ping pong ball in my pocket? Okay, I can't hear anyone, so one second. That was the quickest hour of my life. I um, didn't think an hour could go by that quickly. That tasted amazing and it was so quick to make like the longest thing literally the longest thing is the pasta cooking and also I was really relaxed with the recipe honestly you guys when I have a recipe in front of me I don't follow it to the T when it comes to food I just kind of experiment so I swapped in pine nuts for the pumpkin seeds and also I just put in way less than half of the oil that they asked for just because I don't know I just didn't want it to feel too oily and it actually worked really well so I'm really happy with that Bubbly. Uh, uh, we're gonna you can do, do a copy of that. A 
Are you gonna do your Mario's magical maple coffee? Was the snack you'd say your inspiration for the coffee? Yeah, yeah. You need a good snack mm -hmm. and then you can make coffee. Okay. Is one of them. And one of them. I love it. Something smells good. I, I don't even like aubergine. Do you not? No, but that smells amazing. Okay, my goal is to make you like this meal because I know you don't like cod oh, either. Oh, and it's cod as well. You I just picked... picked my two least favourite. It's okay. It's, it's a chef's challenge to make something that you know the other person doesn't like. Baked to perfection. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look at, look at this presentation. <laughs> Your presentation has got Listen, a lot better. This is how I want my food presented every time you cook dinner for me. Okay, I reckon drop that expectation, otherwise you're going to be so disappointed. Where do you think? I don't know, man. Should I put it here? I'll put it here. Another day, another cereal. Right when you're looking through the screen and that's just like sliding away from you. But this marshmallow square is for me. I feel really hungry today. It's one of those days where I just, I can constantly feel my stomach like asking for food. Like I'm just always getting hunger cues, so yeah, it's just one of those days. Now I'm having carrots and hummus, so I'm hoping this is gonna fill me up. Now, now I know why you have to cut the carrot up. That was way too big towards the end. going to school? I'm not going to school but I am going to go see my family for a picnic. We're all socially distanced so we're making our own food and then we'll be two meters apart and just to say hi because I haven't seen my family since Christmas and I'm so excited because I love seeing them so much. I'm actually going to make one and a half and then the other half you can have as a snack. Oh, thanks Baba. Love you. I'm also going to bring a packet of this because I just feel like it screams picnic to me. Oh, it does look good. Yeah, I'm gonna have a quick bite now, actually, because I'm kind of hungry. 10 out of 10. This is gonna be my lunch. Bye, Baba. Bye. Good luck at school. Thanks. Love you. <laughs> Come on, Baba. I'm trying not to get overwhelmed. The recipe I'm going off of this is like 10 times harder than what I'm doing. Like I've cut so many steps. What are we making? We're making a ramen. I've actually never made ramen before, but I'm just crossing my fingers.
So that was my week of eating. I prefer sharing a week of eating because like my days vary all the time depending on whether I'm more hungry or less hungry or more active or didn't sleep as much or coming onto my period, etc, etc. And so, yeah, sometimes one day just like that doesn't always showcase how varied my diet can be. Like I said at the start, like, this is how, this is how I eat. It works really well for me. I know that intuitive eating doesn't work for everyone. Um, and I have made a video about it with a registered dietitian. So if you want to go check that out, that link is in the description box as well. So if you liked hanging out with us and you liked the recipes, then make sure to give me a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to join our amazing family. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for showing all of that support on last week's, no, two weeks ago video. Um, it really means a lot and I'm working on taking care of myself, taking care of my back. Mario's taking care of his knee, so we're all injured at the moment. Um, but yeah, thank you so much and I will see you guys very soon. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.